of YouTube. Spiritual Grower coming at you with an update. All right, let's get to it. So we are at week six of flowering with the Girl Scout cookies and the Trinity Kush. Right off the bat, look how bad the Girl Scout cookie is doing, but not too bad. So for those of you who've been following my girl, you know I've had issues with the Girl Scout cookies for a while. Since about week two of flowering, I started having issues with it and all the, all the leaves, all the fan leaves started falling off of it and it's just, you know, none of the best conditions. And you can tell the size of the buds are really small. But um, we're in week six and I'm just, you know, I'm hoping it makes it to, to the end. I mean, the buds, I bought myself a little Jewel, jewelers loop to look at them and the buds are actually looking pretty ripe now so I'm thinking in about a week week and a half I'm gonna harvest the Trinity Kish as well is already looking close to ready so I'm already flushing them so I'm looking between week week seven week eight to like seven and a half so about a week and a half more of flushing Yeah, check it out. I mean, as ugly as the plant is, the Girl Scouts is putting out some dank looking nugs. Like, like dank looking nugs. Now, the reason I had this, for those of you first watching my videos, or if it's your first time watching my videos, um, I made a lot of rookie mistakes with these plants from the beginning. Like I said, this is my first grow and I made a lot of mistakes. A lot of mistakes and, um, you know, things like not preparing my soil properly, um, not ph my water, you know, little shit like that that you don't take into, into consideration until something goes wrong and then you end up with a plant that looks like this. But it's all good. So like I said, week six. Getting close to harvest. Really stoked. And um, so I, I had told in my last video I mentioned I had another tent going. And I'll go ahead and get into that right now. Let's go ahead and lock this baby up. You know, tent one. Tent too. So this is new for those of you who follow my girl. This is this is new to you. But um, this was my original little tent I had gone. But I'm gonna use this for my bedding room. So um, I got two clones right here that I got from my local dispensary. And they're both um, cheesecake. Now, I went ahead and found um, my dispensary's breeders where they get their genetics from, their, their, their clones, to get a little bit more information on the strain. And um, I did, I found some really good information. And it turns out, and you're not gonna believe this, but this plant flowers and ripens in six fucking weeks. This strain itself, in six weeks it's ready. That's ridiculous. I'm really looking forward to that. And these right here, um, these are Mr. Nestor Nomad Genetics. The C tag on my last video that I showed you guys. So this is the Mad Poison, which is a cross of Durban Poison, that cross of Durban Poison. Uh, we got the Durban Widow, which is White Widow times Durban Poison. Really stoked about that one. Um, back here we have another one, but you can see the little seed right there. It hasn't really pushed out. And it's been like that the last couple of days. I think that one might have not made it. And I have one more still germinating, which is just taking a sweet time. But, um, yeah, check it out, guys. Some cheesecake. Alright, so, I'll make a video when I harvest next week. I'm not going to go ahead and make two videos. So, I'll just make it all in one. Um, for those of you 
that are you know interested in this sort of shit. I appreciate the subscribers. I I went to 20 subscribers in my last two weeks, which I thought was pretty cool. Um, you know, I'd like to get higher, but little by little, right? Baby steps. So um, yeah, if you enjoy these videos, please subscribe, leave some comments, let me know what's up. That's all I got for you guys today. Peace.